Let's relieve some stress with face yoga and face massage. When your main goal for face yoga is stress relief or relaxation of the muscles, I recommend that you start with some face massage. Take some oil or some face cream so that you don't stretch the skin and start in between the brows creating some space between the eyebrows, getting rid of 11 lines and move to the sides towards the temples. When you're putting anything on your face, move in a lifting motion on the cheeks from the nasal apical folds up towards the ears. Don't stretch the skin, this can be very gentle. And when you get to the ears, you can go down and spread your fingers on the neck. So that you get some lymphatic fluid flow there. And your jawline, thumbs underneath, the rest of the fingers on top. Do not stretch the skin. You can be very gentle. That's best for the lymphatic fluid as fluid flow as well. If you want lymphatic drainage, you don't want to push too hard. And you can also just let the muscles relax under this very gentle touch. Today, we're only activating the muscles that you want to activate and we are letting the rest of them relax. Let's start with the forehead. So you can keep massaging your forehead very gently while you open your eyes wide. And now you're opening your eyes with the orbicularis oculi muscles, lifting the eyebrows up from below, but keeping the frontalis muscle, the forehead muscle, completely relaxed. Remember to blink and keep opening the eyes. When you learn to activate your orbicularis oculi muscle, you can keep the forehead relaxed at all times, hopefully easing any headaches that you otherwise might get. And also, by doing this exercise consistently, you get more open eyes. Good. Let's finish this one with some temple massage. Now, into the under eye area. If you feel like you have any water retention there or any stress there, do not stretch the skin, just place your fingers there very gently and push slightly and directly inwards. Not to the sides that would stretch the skin, just slightly against the bone. And release, good. Now place your fingers a little bit lower here on top of this bone and Start lifting your lower eyelids up and relax. Lift your lower eyelids up and relax. Make sure that your eyebrows don't move. You're not getting these 11th line, lines here. If you need to, you can keep massaging the forehead while you lift the lower eyelids so that you don't do the movement with your eyebrows. Your eyebrows stay in place. You're just activating the under eye area. Learning to keep your eyebrows in place. Not frowning. Also, try not to lift from the sides of the nose. I have a tendency to do that myself. So just try and keep the sides of the nose relaxed and just lift the lower eyelids. Good. 
good. Now, relax the sides of the nose if you have the same tendency that, that I do. Next, we are going to smile and lift the corners of the mouth towards the temples without lifting the nostrils. So we don't want to do this. Keeping these muscles here relaxed and just lifting the psychomaticus major muscles that lift the corners of the mouth up. Your jaw is completely relaxed. You are not pulling your mouth to the sides. You are lifting the corners of the mouth up. If it helps you, you can inhale through the nose and as you exhale through the mouth, you can hiss. Shh. Hissing helps activate the right muscle. Just a couple more. Good. Now, push your tongue firmly against the palate, not just the tip of the tongue, but the middle of the tongue as well. Keep your jaw relaxed and lift your forehead up towards this side of the ceiling so your tongue is against the palate and you're lifting your forehead so you're not doing this you're lifting your forehead up with a long neck and you can gently massage your neck as it stretches keep your tongue against the palate as firmly as possible the relaxed jaw and breathe in and out through the nose. Good, the other side. So tongue firmly against the palate and lift your forehead up to the other side. Keep your jaw relaxed and try not to push the chin forward. Try to keep your chin relaxed as well. Good. Next, we're lifting straight up and I'm massaging my entire neck. But if you have any thyroid problems, just be very careful not to massage the center of the neck. So just concentrate on the sides. So tongue against the palate lift up. You can think that you're also lifting the corners of the mouth up. This increases the threats in the platysma muscle. So tongue against the palate, corners of the mouth up, forehead up, long neck and massage the neck. Avoiding the center if you have any thyroid problems. Good, and bring your nose forward. Let's finish with some massage to the masseter area where you might have tension if you are prone to bruxism. But be very gentle when you do this massage. You don't want to stretch the skin, so if you need to add some more oil or lotion, you can do that. Just start with gentle circles. Make sure that you don't feel like your skin is separating from the muscle. That's when the skin stretches. So when you're doing this movement, it can be individual how much your skin can move, but you should not feel like your skin is separating from the muscle. So your skin and muscle are friends and they move together. Make sure that you Use plenty of oil when you do this. If you stretch the skin 
and you're not young anymore, the skin won't bounce back. You can concentrate on this center area. If you open your mouth a bit, you can feel that a couple of fingers nicely sink in. You can open and close your mouth a bit and massage this area. Good. Let's finish with some gentle swipes. And a great posture. Thank you for doing this gentle face yoga and massage with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. Perhaps consider giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment. That always helps me. And I'll see you in the next video.